So here we are at Den's place. We're packing the bus up. It's amazing how much stuff you accumulate in a little bit of time. There's Lee. Okay, cooler check. Extra food check. Coleman stove. Pepsi. That's the big damn stove that Craig gave us. More water. And sky high. Another new adventure is the white sky that we're bringing. Courtesy of Craig. Which comes complete with big rack of metal. It was actually an ingenious little setup that Jamie the Engineer Rivers has created and it hooks on through your stock jack points minus the telephone pole in the way. No drilling welding required. Pretty sweet deal. So what time are we supposed to leave? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. <laughs> what time is it now? 11. 11 o'clock. And who was on time? We were on time. Who are we waiting on? Dan. Dan, you're fired. <laughs> it's 11.26 and we're on the move. Yeah, baby. Gotta love it when a plan comes together, right on time. The open road. 11th? It's 11th today? Yep, April 11th. Full. At 5.05.62. want to go anywhere. Maybe because I got the emergency brake on. And we're off. And we're off like a herd of turtles. Here we are at the duty free. Just checking the engine. So here's the experiment. Will the burr last? So what do you think, Dan? Sounds good to me, man. Right on. Just humming. I'm just a humming along. Adjusting the door. Hey, good fit, eh? It will be. Ha! Almost there. Like a club? Just a little tiny bit. We go for the technical methods here. Yeah, babe. Just tweak that sucker down. So much for the draft behind your neck. Yeah, excellent. So here are the stats. It's officially 845. And of course now it doesn't want to focus, piece of junk. We've driven 406 miles. We have 366 left, well I think that's a little off, but so we've driven 406 miles, maximum speed 71.3 miles. Who would have thought this old piece of junk? Not too shabby. <laughs> Can't focus. Cheap. <laughs> so how much? Here we are. At the? At the Econo Lodge. It is $60 for the night. Not too, too bad. Not too bad. 20 bucks a head is good. Works for me. Let's go. So there's the crew. It's a beautiful morning. We're at Bob Evans. Gotta love it. And we're off. And we're off. We're off. Hey. Oh. Oh, oh! There's Chuck's furniture up the way. Up, Chuck. Alive back there? Okay. It's windy. Oh. Too 
too many bumps. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Boulder Apple. Or my dog. Don't look at me, but you can look at my dog. There you go. What's your dog's name? Jesse. Jesse. Sit, Jesse. Oh, nice to meet you. Pretty Jesse, dog. Come here. She's too excited. Oh, of course. This is Josie or Josephine or Josie the Conchita Bolita Tostita. She's the Josiest Jojo I know. She has a lot of nicknames. <laughs> right on. See you there. Take care. But I cut it already, it's too late. Oh, it's too late. It's already cut. So introduce yourself to the camera, Brian. Hi camera, I'm Brian. This is from the same lot that we returned. Oh yeah? Yeah, the, the see how the adhesive is coming off the back? Oh. It's shit. Uh oh. But it'll work just fine for what we're doing. Absolutely. As Den would say, good enough for the girls I run with. What kind of girls does Den run with? I think anybody that can keep up does he run? Uh, maybe. Daddy, 135 buses, we think. What? 35? Okay, Greg, for those of us watching at home. Yeah. Oh, that's the... Very nice. Beautiful. Now, uh, explain to us the, the theory and technique of... Uh, theory and technique of bocce. Okay, it's very simple. First of all, everybody gets two balls. Uh -huh. okay. Sounds familiar? Well, there you go. You do not want to lose your balls playing bocce. Uh, now, start off with the white ball called the Polino. Uh -huh. The uh, leader of the game will change depending on who has the high score. Leader throws the Polino, and, and it's that's good. your target. The winner is the person who gets the ball closest to the Polino. Oh, there's the Polino. And so you throw. Everybody throws a ball. Okay. Everybody throws Ryan, another ball. Big ball. So is this an individual sport, or are we in teams, or? It's an individual sport. And gotcha. Water filled for just on purpose. Cause. Yes. Okay. Okay, Dennis. Oh, that's going to be a tough shot to me. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to be Mr. Yell. Now you can knock the other guy's ball out of the way. Nothing hey, this wrong one with that. Have water in it. Yeah, they all have. No. Yeah, it's chocolate. Yeah, they've all got water in them. Oh, I don't know why they have more or less. Just we'll we'll fill it later. <laughs> oh, it's and my it's turn. Throw. Okay, and it's your turn. Oh, shoot. I'm like off in the freaking rhubarb. That was and fantastic. The weeds. Oh, we get. Oh, what was that? Bad bounce. Okay, one more? Yeah, everybody gets to throw their second. A little closer. Okay. The Italians manicure their lawns so they don't get these rogue bounces. We got the ball the cam. Tape. Very nice. Um, yes, it is. Damn. 
I, I, I was I, close. I've come to measure red tapes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's clearly red. I've seen where it's come down to the nearest eighth of an inch. But yeah. Okay, so now you're you get to throw the Polito. Got, bring it, bring it down, bring it down before. What do you think, Brian? I think she should buy a really awesome CD player. No! <laughs> now run around and show all the Americans what it's supposed to be. You know, I just bought this out of that vending machine on the other side of the Get street. Get out of Dodge! You know, I'm I nervous. No, I love it. But whenever I go to any place and ask for iced tea, I get some crappy shit. Like, uh, Lipton? Like, no, like... No, Lipton actual, is the good stuff. Like actual cold tea with friggin', you know. So it poured last night. Yeah. This pot was empty before, and there's... Two inches? Two, two and a half inches of water. That's a lot of water. Yep. Now we gotta do dishes. And we all got car washes. <laughs> Free car washes. And it was smoked. <laughs> yeah, baby. So y'all ready to go? Yep. Got a good feeling? Feeling, good. feeling really good. Fingers Thanks crossed. Thanks to Dennis Scott. You got it. <laughs> All right. It really couldn't be any louder, I don't think. No, I don't think so. It's great because it wasn't working before. I thought it'd be worse with it. It throws up, I think. Well, that's a good one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's roll. That's Bob and Fiona. That's Jamie coming up. Don't know who that is. It's a nice bus though. Canadian contingent, head north. <laughs> No, we didn't. That's all good. We're the last people anyway. So what you doing, Brian? Um, putting some American air in my tires. Right on. I'm going to have to switch it back to Canadian air on account of when we get back, they'll charge us extra for it. That's right. Charge duty. You don't want that. No. Uh, How many PSIs are you putting in there? All 65 of them. Oh, no. These are rated for, Dan. So do it. Dan! Yeah, baby. It's snowing! No kidding, man! Thank goodness we got the heat hooked up! Woohoo! It may be snowing outside, but it's a balmy. Zoom in, hug it, you can't see it. Take my word for it, it's 22 degrees in here! And I'm loving it! Short sleeves! Short sandals! Sandals! And I'm <laughs> loving it! That's my bus, we just filled up. And yes, that's not a blur on your screen, that's snow. But it's pretty cool, we dominated this place for a minute here until that Suburban pulled in. That's the last one. Not too shabby. So, uh, Brian. Based on the mileage you run? What uh, <laughs> happened back there? 
I need Dad. a fuel gauge. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, no comment. <laughs> That's okay. We won't rub that in. <laughs> Here comes Brian. I think he's looking for revenge after the grapes. The grapes of wrath. Better get some ammo ready. Can he make Come it up on, the hill? Baby. Come Let's on, go, baby. Come on, Murphy. He's trying, but he's falling back. Oh, he's way back there. Uh, Jar, it's cold outside. Good thing we have heat in the van. We don't have any heat. I'm wearing a <laughs> Ah, nice gloves on you. And then there's me who's still in shorts. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it looks like I did at the camp, the winter camp out. Oh. <laughs>